how to grow your business beyond 100K a year. So regardless of the niche or the type of industry your business is in, it is possible to grow out of that, let's say, invisible wall, invisible cap that you're currently facing. If that's the case, then this video is meant for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke Nicholas Felicitian. I'm the founder of Business Purpose Mastery. And with this channel, I, help to, I, my, I hope to find uh, valuable information that I could be sharing with aspiring entrepreneurs and business owners to help them build and grow a purpose-driven business. So please subscribe and let's get started. So what is actually scaling? What is growing? You hear it often in articles on the internet and videos. Basically, we're talking about revenue. We're talking about the sales volume times the sales price. The higher your revenue is, the more you are growing as a business. And what we see is that often business owners cap at a specific revenue amount revenue amount per month and that is often that has to do with one or two reasons the first one is what is the limiting or constraining factor and usually that is you yourself as a business owner you have only 40 hours a week or depends depending on how much you work let's say you have 24 hours a day you of course need to sleep and eat and all the rest but you have 24 hours a day Okay, that is your constraining factor. And thus, the only way for you to be able to grow your revenue as a business is to ask other people for help. That's, it's so simple, but asking other people for help is difficult. I know that's true. And delegating is also very hard. But what if you manage to, to find a way where other people can help you, suddenly you are adding from that 24 time limit, you are adding time to your business. So imagine you ask two people to help you and they have eight hours a day to help you. So you added just you are just added 16 hours to your company a day that can grow your revenue, that can grow your business. And you might be thinking, well, that's obvious. It is. The other aspect of actually growing your business is actually doing it and making sure that you you build a sustainable system you build a sustainable team that supports you in growing your business you do not have there's not a lot of work in growing a team or growing a system that is that does not generate sustainable and consistent revenue monthly recurring revenue it would make more sense to build more slowly a good quality team than to rush in it and eventually see the results, the negative consequences, results of having perhaps grown too quickly. And the second possibility that you can apply is very similar to the first one by hiring people is to grow your product, is to increase your prices. Okay, and to increase your prices, you are basically telling people, my product is a more premium product. If you want to be using it, if you want to be purchasing it, you have to pay more money. And that is one of the options to increase your revenue without having to increase the quantities, the quantity that you're selling. Within, without actually hiring other people to do the work for you or with you. So that is a possibility that is very much focused towards the pricing strategy that you want to be applying as a business owner. And well, perhaps I will be doing another video in the future about these kinds of pricing strategies. But keep in mind that pricing says something about your product and service. If you have a low price, it says something about your product. It means that it has relatively low value. The, the cost of delivery is rather low. But if you actually have a much higher price or very, very specific, specific, specific or very specific, highly customized product or service, then the price will automatically, or let's say hopefully, be much higher in order to, to represent, to reflect that high customized, specialized value that you're providing. So that's an example 
how you can grow beyond the let's say 10k mark a year by delegating by growing a team and by increasing your prices of course there are other possibilities out there such as replacing the product that you are actually providing by technology so by building software which is also one of the let's say possible tools available for business owners to actually grow and outsource their work to a system to a program but i'm not going to go further into detail about that because that is a topic in of itself which i believe uh, deserves a video in of itself so if you found this video valuable please subscribe leave behind a comment and i will see you in the next one